What up guys, welcome to another video of your boy Diggy Dash and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on any Amazon TV or Amazon Fire Stick Yeah, I said that right The prerequisite is that you have ES File Explorer You can just download it from the App Store, very easy to download, just go get that That's exactly what you need to install Kodi on your Amazon Fire or Amazon Fire Stick Amazon Fire TV, sorry But you definitely need this application because it's got a built-in web browser and we I mean, need the web browser to download Kodi so let me just walk you through it okay so you downloaded the application I'm assuming you've already done that so now the next step is if I can find it oh, stop right next step is go into your settings and now we're going to go into your system now we've got what we have to do now we have to allow the system to install applications from unknown sources so you go to developers options apps from unknown sources you want that on turn that on leave that on so you hit ok obviously you've got a little warning about that don't worry about it. we know exactly what we're doing I switch on ADB debugging you need that on as well not USB debugging you don't need that on so as you see it is how your system should be so now what's next is you go to ES file explorer once that's open we need to create a favorite and within that favorite we can embed a link to Kodi as in the website to download it directly so this is how you do it see so obviously you click on your favorites and then you have to add your favorite so here's the path every character every letter type that in so this is a link to the Kodi website to the download of the application to install on your Amazon Fire or Amazon Fire TV right so just type in this in HTTP forward slash forward slash Kodi dot TV forward slash download now this website <laughs> you'll see for yourself but this website doesn't play too nicely with the ES file explorer internet explorer application within the app so you have to fiddle about with it to get it to click on the ARM version the Android ARM version of Kodi and once you get it to kind of get going to that then you click on more at the bottom the bottom right hand side then you get the big icons at the bottom that search what not bottom right hand corner so obviously you add this as a favorite but you see in a second or several seconds because this is taking quite some time so there you go, there's Kodi, click on that, see your favourites, so you click on Kodi, loads up the page, so as I said, as you can see, to your right hand side, to the Android side, somehow fiddle about to click on ARM, and then click on more, and then open that link, when you open that link, there you go, it provides a download link, and then you install it, obviously. <laughs> So hit the install button and there you go so it won't want to take too long to install it's not a very big application very powerful but not a very large application right hit done hit open sorry it's going to show you the first loading screen so it's preparing for its first run and it's the latest version of Kodi as you can see so now what we need to do we need to set it up so you can um watch stuff online should I say so the way that we do that is we go to the file manager we add sources within these sources we can use to download add-ons add-ons in turn which allow you to do various things with it so here's the first add-on that I'm going to use 
this add-on is actually a fusion installer it basically serve a place on the internet which allows you to download stuff that easily sets up Kodi for you so it's http colon forward slash forward slash fusion fusion dot add-on for s to the end of course dot ag so letter for letter exactly as it is exactly how you should type it into your into your unit Hope you are getting this down. Dot ag. All right, we're good. So once you have that all typed in, you need to move over to done. Just making sure that it's correct. Sometimes I've like brain floods. No, oh, sorry. Fusion.tv add-ons dot ag. Yeah, so I'm saying you have brain farts sometimes. Sometimes I forget a few. But this is the link that you should definitely use. And let's just quickly just call it Fusion as a name for the media source. Boom. Good to go. Click OK. So now we have it as a source. So you come back out of the screen, back out of it, click on system. Then we need to go down to add-ons. <laughs> Skip that bit. Install from a zip file. Right, let me click down to Vision as a source. Start here. And install all of these zip files. One by one, you need all of them. So it seems that the screen is freezing, but it's actually installed it. Then click on the next one. There you go. It's installed that add-on. Right, in the video. Yep, installing this one now. It seems like the screen is freezing. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fine. Right, let's config wizard, wizard. That's very important. You need to roll with that one. And let's go with the last one. No, no, let's skip that. Right, sorry, yes, install the final one. Oh, forget it. Right, let's click on programs, program add-ons, add-on installer. Hit that, installs the add-on installer, of course. Sets everything up. So it's back out of this one. Config wizard. Android, of course. And essentially, this will just configure your unit for you. So it saves you a lot of hassle, like separately installing each and every add-on. Literally, it sets everything up for you, has everything running very quickly. As you can see, it doesn't take too long to install. It's very quick. But it's essentially, will have everything that you need to um, view this kind of material that you like to watch online. Whatever that may be. Boom. That's done. That's installed. So there you go. You got Exodus, which is a very powerful add on, which allows you to um, view stuff online. You've got Source, Stream all the sources. Very good. Another very good add on. Nice no, top notch. Better watch many things online. As you can see, you've got quite a few add ons. Navi X, fantastic for watching sports online. You know, various. Yeah, let's not go into. You're going to have to see for yourself. So let's just, let's just do one more source. It's another plugin that I, I like quite a lot. It's called Evolve. Um, Just literally just copy what I'm typing in here.
and Evolve is just a very, very powerful add-on. It has so much content across many different genres that um, you should definitely, definitely make this a part of your install. You don't have to have it, but I highly recommend it. This is what I personally use. Goal, if it's a key word, Goliath. You click on OK. See, I did that as a source. You go to add ons, install the zip, Goliath, boom, install that repository, boom. Takes a moment to um, install. How the hell has my camera got out of focus for? What the hell? Yeah. So I'll quickly through the repositories, just make sure it's all there. Make sure it's enabled, it's all good. Hit the add-on, install the add-on separately. Yeah, so um that's it yeah pretty much everything's installed right there you've got a good looking setup you just got to do a few adjustments settings you know like to have um like to adjust the videos menu just to show the stuff that i actually like to use which is exodus stream water sources and evolve so you can see everything i use is right there that's all you need to um view what you want to see and um yeah pretty much just a good looking install right there you know that that definitely replace some of the services that you may currently be paying for such as like sky or virgin whatever it is you know i highly recommend you know messing with cody it's such a fantastic resource and source of um great content so yeah that's a wrap so people please like and subscribe to my, to my videos i've got more content coming up more how-to videos a lot more stuff so you know subscribe hurt your boy if you've got questions so yeah you guys have a good day peace